Hey guys, this is Chief of the Danny Joe here. I'm in the ship's office and I thought okay, let me take a video today and show you guys what a chief officer does when he goes on deck for his rounds every day morning. Alright, before we start, let's get the PPE done. So my PPE for today that's gonna be my boiler suit. So we got this. I got my helmet, my gloves, it's winter, so winter gloves, some beanie, and the most important, my safety shoes. So, here I am, ready, let's head out now. Okay, I thought I'd show you guys what I usually carry inside my body suit. I carry my key, my light, this is a cool light, dynamo light, my safety, I carry my small pocket knife with everything, covid mask, again one more headlamp, earplugs, alright, Let's go. Alright then guys. It's almost six degrees. It's really cold. For a South Indian like me, it is terrible. Yeah. Take my walk. Ah, that's my second officer there doing his weekly checks on the LSA equipments. Good. How is it? Everything okay? All working fine. Very nice. Yeah. We got some repair work going on. Yeah, that's my repair man. And the fireman, watch. Oh, what's up, guys? What are you staring? So, what are you doing? I am doing welding. Welding. Yeah. Okay. Hot work. Yeah. So, what we're getting a new bin now, repairing. Perfect. Nice one. Everything is okay. Yeah, very good. Yeah. This is the gangway. It needs some chipping and painting. Also, my FSS pointed out during his inspection. So today we will do this job. That area is still okay. That area coming So I'm standing around with the hatch cover, no cargo here, Inspect, inspecting all these shoes. You see down here, all these, for any wear down, reduced in size and damaged stuff like that. Yeah, this is the most annoying thing actually in this ship, the design. We don't have railings, we have safety wires, so usually they get stuck while they're opening and closing the hatch covers and then they get damaged yeah as you can see also the stanchions they also get bent get uprooted sometimes so keep checking this and then get them repaired yeah we also have bigger cross sticks you see how far the containers are loaded so I also randomly check for any not sitting properly containers and for any, any more damages. Yeah. 
that's the pilot ladder. We also have to check these almost up every month. Any one down or damage or something like that. So what we see here is now a tank container. We also call them as DG containers. So I'd see these needs for checking and we have to check them every day for any leaks or anything else so that we don't have any problem while sailing. So and these ones need more precautions and more special requirements. See right now here is the gearboxes and have the gear bins on on that. Uh, this is actually where all the ship's lashing equipments are stored. Basically the twist locks, mid locks and hanging stackers and stuff like that. They are stored here on board the ship and then when they'll be landed ashore and during cargo operations they'll be taken off the ship and then they'll be used put on the containers as well as whatever they remove from the containers will be again secured back in this yeah we have three now what do you see here at the back they are like rubber bands what we have at home the one down there is almost the same rubber bands they actually protect the deck a lot because when they throw all these lashing bars down during port say they protect the tank. They protect actually the paint. They are really good to have. Really good. That's a paint store. Paint store CO2 firefighting system. That's inside here.
So, what are you doing, Francis? Living. <laughs> Living it nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Getting all the rust out, all right? That's a lot of garbage to be thrown, which is really a pain for us because some of the ports and most of the ports we go, they don't take. They say no, so keep piling up on board. Supporting. Until then, see how the dining is off. <laughs>